Scarlett Moffat is back with me now and she's encouraging us all to smile, aren't you? Oh, yeah. That's an easy thing for you to do. <laughs> oh, well, it's something I enjoy doing. Yeah, so I've teamed up with Comic Relief because um, when I was in the jungle, actually, uh, which loads of people keep coming up to us in the street and saying, like, oh, I remember when you said... Uh, like I would rather have a million laughs than a million pound and it's just something me and my dad have always said and so to be asked to like work with Comic Relief which is an amazing charity and to to make people laugh and smile is like amazing it's and you're going out to is it some of the stations isn't it? Is, uh, how's it yes I'm going now? to the King's Cross station right. today just because commuters well everybody hates traveling don't they really and it can be quite a sad little time when you just sat on your own so i'm just going to cheer people up really well that's brilliant yeah. that's a nice thing <laughs> yeah everyone needs that in the morning at a station <laughs> so now back to the old presenting role here on ant and deck saturday night takeaway and everything else are you loving this new job i guess that's kind of what it is for you now as such you're not looking it's, at it like that but yeah like i don't even see it as a job yeah. for some reason i really thought about you when i was watching you at the ntas and i thought here she is this had this crazy time recently even in the jungle and everything else but there you are on the red carpet with all these celebs that you've watched on the telly for all these years yeah. knowing who you are and not even just you but your mum and dad your whole family <laughs> like they know you and I thought that must have felt so odd well so the NTAs actually was the first time I'd ever been on a red carpet as well so to go on the red carpet and also be like backstage like doing a little bit of presenting I was like, I can't believe like this is my first ever time in a red carpet and I'm getting to be backstage. And it's just still bizarre that like, I've watched all of these people for so many years and they're coming up to like knowing who I am. <laughs> like Mary Berry and I was like, oh, this is crazy. Like Mary Berry actually knows I exist. <laughs> like it's, it's hard to get my head around still. It's just amazing though. Of course it is. And, and you, like we talked about Anton Deck this morning and they have been hugely supportive of you from the very beginning. Um, I mean, what sort of advice have they been giving you so far? Well, they've given us a lot of confidence. So they said that advice that they keep giving us is to just be me. Yeah. And that's so nice to hear like my heroes say, just be you. That, that gives me so much confidence in like who I am and and yeah and they've just like been helping us like with auto cue and talk back and i go to the script meetings like i'm just feel very privileged to be learning from the masters really yeah they're they, just amazing yeah, of course they are and they, they desperately wanted you in the jungle too didn't they they just knew you were going to be a hit Aww. and then and of course you were i mean looking back now you you just genuinely did not think you were going to win that thing on, the second we saw real. you we watched every single episode clearly at home we knew you were going to win it from day one really oh my gosh if only i were a betting girl yes i knew you were going to See, win it you I were so good like, from day one. Oh, thank you like i remember sitting on my hammock and then like every time somebody else left like I was just like obviously upset that they'd gone and then I was like I don't understand how am I still here but Carol Vardaman's went because I just thought I'm going to go on there no one's going to know who I am I was shocked that I was even on a program called I'm a celebrity because <laughs> I don't cast myself as a celebrity like I just watched the TV really like and I still worked as a disability advisor so I still had my nine to five job and did that on the side so it's just bizarre <laughs> it was really bizarre of course it was. and like you, you talk about the celeb thing and that and Gogglebox has, has thrown you and your your whole family actually into this this sort of mad world and we were all disappointed to hear that the Moffat family weren't going to be back on the series I'm so grateful for the platform that it's given me because if it wasn't for that then I wouldn't be doing everything that I'm doing now and my mum and dad are just like they can see how happy I am so that makes them like super happy and like I mean my mum and dad are proud whatever I don't like but um yeah they just they just can't believe that it's yeah. all happening and well, they come and watch me every Saturday night on the show <laughs> it's it's onwards and upwards isn't it and I know recently we were reading the papers about you this newly single girl life is looking up it's all change <laughs> and for me, that makes you the perfect host for Street Mate, which I hear might be coming back. It is coming back. I'm so excited. I... And I just can't wait. Like, I love talking to random people. <laughs> like, it's literally one of my favourite things to do. Like, I am that person on a bus who will come and sit next to you, like, annoyingly. And everyone likes a happy ending. And I just feel like loads of people nowadays meet online or on, like, 
dating apps and social media. So to be able to bring people together and meet face to face, that's exciting. It's that kind doesn't of happen nowadays. School again, isn't yeah. it? Like, actually, I hadn't thought about that because that that is lovely. And just that you catch that initial sort of reaction between pairs, and they're a bit nervous, yeah. and then you're the one sort of in the middle of it all. It's it's just it's just the perfect show for so you, I excited. think. Yeah. <laughs> is that going to be starting soon then, or when will we? Um, look so forward like to all after those uh, Saturday night takeaway, I'm having a little break. Uh, me and my family are gone on holiday. And then I'm going to start and, and film that. How fantastic. So excited. What a wonderful <laughs> year. Honestly, congratulations with it all, Scarlett. Aww, you deserve it. It's just you. brilliant. We love watching you at the weekends <laughs> as well. I'll be watching Street Mate as I always do. Aww. You'll be fantastic on it. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you soon. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Scarlett.